No. Okay, so for the chords in both hands, how to use, for example, if I play C, E, G in both hands, look how I use 5, 3, 1 in the left hand and 1, 3, 5 in the right hand. Use those fingers for all the chords, right? Look how I move through these chords and I use these same fingers for every note. So 5, 3, 1 in the left hand, 1, 3, 5 in this hand. Okay, so um, a major chord is made up of a major third, which is four half steps, and a perfect fifth, which is seven half steps. So you can think of it as four half steps and three half steps, or four half steps and seven half steps. To make that major chord into a minor chord, all you do is you take that middle one and you flat it. You make it a minor chord now by making that a minor third. So you have C, E flat, and G. So now you have a minor third and a perfect fifth. And that would be three half steps and seven half steps, or three half steps and four half steps. To make this minor chord into a diminished chord, you just flat the fifth, or make it a diminished fifth. So now you have a minor third and a diminished fifth, which would be three half steps and three half steps, or three half steps and six half steps. And the last one, to make it augmented, you go back to the major chord, so major third and perfect fifth, and just sharp the fifth here. All right, so now you have major third and a sharp fifth or augmented fifth, which is four half steps and four half steps, or four half steps and eight half steps. And you can apply that by starting on any note and making the major chord by counting four half steps and three half steps, and then adjusting the chord to make the other ones, right? Okay.